Fat Toe Review here. Today I'm going to be do reviewing the Snow Camouflage Parka. As seen here. Um, this is a uh, military shoot parka. Um, put out in the 90s, around the Cold War, I mean, actually. And, yeah. So I'm going to do a one look. I'll do a few poses. Let you see what it looks like, and then I will review it in depth. So, here it is. That's my 360 on this. Now I will pause the video, lay it out, and be back. And we're back. I've laid this park out. And here is the tags. It says 03. Not sure if that's the date or whatever, but it's a small chest 33 to 37, stock number 8. 415002. Two three seven six two five NATO size seven zero eight zero eight four nine four Parka snow camouflage white DLA one hundred eighty eight C O three nine seven It's eighty percent cotton twenty percent nylon Contractor all state leisure products incorporated for camouflage only not a substitute for outer garment. Wear hood over all headgear, including steel helmet. Tie bottom draw cord around each leg. Launder by the cotton method. Do not remove this label. Okay, now what can we infer from this? Uh, basically, when I see steel helmet, that makes me think Cold War. So, you could also would say Kevlar helmet. Um, so, anyway... This is pretty basic. I don't even I see why people don't do a review, because it would be a 10 second review. But we're going to make some. We're going to do it anyway. So, because this is the most basic park I've ever seen. So, whatever. Okay, basically, this is a fishtail style park. Huh? So, this and that wrap around each leg and make a romper sort of thing. So, it keeps snow from going all over your jacket, whatever. So, there we go. Now, you see we have uh, the tag, um, this draw cord here, and some, this, this tightens around your waist so stuff doesn't blow around. We have our only two pockets here, and they go into your pockets like there, or your coat pocket. Essentially, um, other than that, we have yeah, that's what it looks like. I've never seen this style button before. See, I'm not sure if this is the right kind. Cause I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause the video because I have a set of pants along with these that I'm trying to get sell at this point, but. The point is, is they're drastically different button-wise. So, I'll be back in a few seconds with those, and we'll compare them. So, I'll be right back. And we're back, and I got the rest of my stuff. All right, here are the pants. These are way too big for me, but I will so, As you can see, the garage is pretty dirty, but I don't know. Okay, so these are extra large. There's somewhat of a difference. We have a zipper instead of buttons. 
even the button styles different. It's more of a standardized button. Made by the Scoville buttons. And as you can tell, here's what this one says. This says trouser snow camouflage white. Waist from 39 to 43 inches and seam 29 and a half to 32 and a half inches. They're extra large regulars. They're DLA 184C 0518, 85, or 65% cotton, 35% nylon. So a little bit difference there. Made by Proper International. These are wear on the outer garment. It's hot. You're not going to be able to pick this up, but I'll read it. Wear on the outer garment in cold, dry climate. Buttoned in liner for extra warmth. Remove when something wet or wet allow to dry. Attach suspenders backs to suspender loops. Wear leg bottoms outside foot gear and secure draw cords. Brush off snow and frost before entering heated shelters. Lubricate slide fastener with wax. For cleaning and restoring of water repellency. Return from to laundry for machine washing in accordance with established procedures for corporal treated garments. Do not starch. Do not remove this label. So, as we can see, these have buttons on them. That's all it says. These were used. I picked them up thinking they were smaller, bigger, or yeah, smaller size. And they weren't, so... I just have them sitting around for now. So that's the pants that may or may not be the same for the garment. Then we have the liner, button and liner they were mentioning. This is a weird size, so... It is a, oh, come on you, this is a medium sized one, so I've got small parka, extra large pants, and a medium, so yeah. This says, liner snow camouflage trousers white arctic M65, DLD. SA 100 dash 76 dash C dash 1198 batting 100% polyester quilter covering 100% nylon case incorporated medium short and regular waist from 31 to 35 and seam up to 32 and a half inches stock number 84150935 O five four nine NATO size six seven eight three slash seven nine eight nine on liner snow camouflage trousers white arctic sixty five button and trousers button into trousers snow camouflage dry liner and trousers separately so that's mentioning the other one avoid contact with heated stoves open fires and other high heat sources fabric may fuse wash by hand or machine wash with milled soap or detergent rinse thoroughly and drip or machine dry. Do not dry clean. Do not remove this label. And we have a 2 and a B, I believe. So that's what these are. Nothing much to those. And finally, the glove camos. And so this I'm going to sit down because these are weird. These may be World War II era. I'm not sure. They don't have the same style. So. These are weird because if you see this, let me see which one. All right, so good. So this is what they look like. They're like mittens, but these are a pair of trigger finger gloves. So you think, oh, that's a rip. Nope, that's intentional. That's so you can stick your trigger finger out and blow someone's head off or whatever. Or pick your nose, I don't know. Or ski, or take a photo, whatever. I purchased this type of glove for photo photography mainly. Because, you know, I have a GoPro, so I need to be able to 
turn it on and hold it. So that's why I got these gloves. And then I bought these liners in a lot deal with a bunch of other random stuff. So that's where the pants, the liner, and the gloves, both these, the gloves and the liners came from. It's a huge lot deal I got. So, let me take it out. We got some woodlands. These I'll do a review on later. But what we're focused on right now is these. Okay. So this is going to be hard to pull up. So we're going to fit it inside out. Here's what this, these say, mittens, shell, snow camouflage, the DLA is 184C4081, and I guess the NSN number is 8415002614827, it's made by Oxford Cloth and Cotton Warp, it's washable, and mountain, or I don't know what that Oxford thing actually, but it's Mountaineer Leather Incorporated in 09. Not sure what any of this means, but this is all the snow camo stuff I have, so I thought I'd do a video on it. Um, anyway, and these are elastic -y. And Okay, here's the other pair. The same thing on this one. I was assuming there was this. Thing on here somewhere, but no, I guess not. Okay, so we'll do this because this is easier. So, like I said, normally what you would do is you'd be able to stick your gloved finger out like this and shoot things. These aren't really a good. And then we also, I forgot to mention, have this. And that cinches the gloves down. So. And these are not waterproof by any stretch of the imagination. Because you'd wear these under ECWCS slash some waterproof stuff. They're just liners. Overall, I'd say I have got a good setup. Um, anyway, if you have any questions about the only YouTube video that features a review of what of snow camouflage, Let, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as I do videos that no one else can do or are too lazy to do. For example, my next video, I will be reviewing these gloves more in depth. And so yeah, so that was my review on these snow camo. I'll pause the video. I'm gonna set it up to look like a human silhouette and show you it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So this is what it would look like. Um, so you got your gloves. These are both bungees there. So there's also a mysterious Pazgat helmet that goes with this. I just haven't picked one up yet because it's currently spring where I am. And you know, next winter I'll probably have one. So we've got the liner, the pants. And so that's my review of the, well, basic review, because there's not much to review. So, oh, I've got to mention yeah, these. Yes. That reminds me. Um, these are not like the other ones. These are, like I said, different type snaps. Instead of silvery, they're black. And with the pants, there's one pair of pockets that actually is pockets. That's the back this. This doesn't go to the bottom. This is its, like, wallet pocket. Or whatever. So that's its own pocket. And these have, uh, drawstrings in the bottom. So that's my review of the, uh, snow camo. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, because there's no one else reviewing this. I'm willing to bet that. So... We've got, yeah, gloves, parka, pants, liner. And then with the boots, you'd have white Mickey Mouse boots on, a Pazgat helmet, and you would have been set for snow camo. Of course, as you can see, these have been used. I don't know if it pulls up on video, but 
that's brand new-ish, new old stock, and this is used. So, see there's like dirt, so be sure to bleach stuff often for whatever laundry saying says, because no camo is only as good as whatever, however white it is. So, there's my review. Um, like I said, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Uh, ask any questions you want, and I'll respond to them in a timely manner. And uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching. See ya.